Oh, for Christ's sakes. Oh, the things you have to go through and endure just to entertain people. Oh, bloody hell. I'm educated now. I've got reading glasses. Crikey. Yep, found some spots on the retinas of both eyes. Diabetes related, so... Yeah, reading glasses now. I've got some driving glasses as well. Um, anyway, enough of my uh, health issues and uh, larking around. Um, fines buys for last month. Um, it's not a great deal. And uh, to be honest, am I bothered? Nah, not really. It's not all about spending money, is it? And going out and making yourself brassic. Plenty of time to do that. Oh, and there's some uh, BCLT as well. Um, somebody kindly sent me. Let's put them down there. Um, first record to pick up. There's a couple of albums, a 12 inch single, and I think about three, three seven inch singles. Um, Self by Fuzzbox. We've got a fuzz box and we're going to use it. I do collect 12 inch singles by them. Um, bit, bit of a guilty pleasure, I suppose. Great new, different sort of a band when they first come out back in the 80s. Four lovely girls. Um, sort of learned their instruments as they went along. This one's called Self. Great, great song, great tune. That's Joe, Joe Dunn, on the back there. And uh, I, well, I hope you can see it all okay. She unfortunately passed away a few years ago. Um, there was two sisters in the band, Joe and Maggie. Um, that's Vicky, Vix. The other one was Tina. I, th I think Tina's a, she became a school teacher. Remember right? So yeah. Maggie and Joe, sisters. Joe unfortunately passed away a good few years ago now. Yeah, great tune. They, they, they weren't a bad band, you know, weren't fantastic, weren't poor, weren't bad. Good fun, good fun all girl band. Brilliant. Tried to, um, well, the, the powers that be tried to promote them heavily across the pond in America and that, and it didn't really work out. And um, so, yeah. I like them. Some good, good tunes. Good tunes. We've got a fuzz box. We're going to use it. And that song's called Self. Not a bad tune. Check it out. This one. I'll tell you what. Let's uh, take it out of the sleeve in case there's any glare or whatever. Charity shop find this was. Very rare for me to find anything from a charity shop, to be honest, or anything of any note. And I saw this. It was only a pound. I thought, well, yeah, I'll give it a try. Harry Belafonte. Um, one tune on here I do love, and that's Dayo, the, uh, the old Banana Boat song. I kept hearing it on YouTube. Um, some sort of advert. And, um, yeah, I remember it from the film um, Beetlejuice it was in, wasn't it? And the other one, Jump in the Line. That's on here as well, but it's not a particularly good sort of rendition of it, so I might have to hunt out the 7-inch single for that. So, yeah, Harry Belafonte. Only a pound. And the other one, this one was only a pound as well, but... Um, I didn't have any change on me, so I gave them a £5 note, keep the change. It's a charity shop, so. Royal Britannia. As seen on TV. Wow. Um, yeah, it's all sort of uh, celebrating the Queen's Silver Jubilee. 60, 60 tunes on here altogether. All your sort of pomp and circumstance and things like that. Um, Royal Britannia's on here, um, the National Anthem's on here, of course Her Majesty the Queen, God bless her, no longer with us. Um, still, a, I, st I still think it's a bit odd saying um, 
His Royal Highness, as in King Charles now and that, but um, there you go. Double vinyl. Can you hear it creasing? Can you hear? It? That's a sign of a good cover, good sleeve. There you go, you can see that all okay. There should be like a little poster with this as well, but unfortunately it's not there. But um, yeah. I haven't heard all of this one yet. I've played uh, most of it. Like I say, all the good old sort of pomp and circumstance and things like that you'd expect from a, a Brit British sort of royalty type music, you know. All the things us um, Brits do really, really well. Cracking album. It's only a quid. In brilliant, brilliant condition as well. Same as the Harry Belafonte, I gave him a five pound note, keep the change. It's charity, so there you go. Um, a few seven inch singles, there's three of them before we get on to the old um, BCLT. Roger Daltrey, um, written on the wind, on the old Polydor label. Always pick up the old. Um, Roger Daltrey and Townsend and stuff like that whenever I see it. Dear John on the B side. On the Polydor um, oh, injection moulded label. So yeah, always happy to add um, Roger Daltrey stuff and that to the collection. Do love The Who. Perhaps my favourite band. Perhaps my second favourite band. Perhaps Madness have overtaken them now. Who knows? Um, this one, DNA featuring Suzanne Vega, Tom's Diner. A bit of a funky sort of poppy version of that um, brilliant song by her. And this one, like the, um, the Roger Dolce single, plays really, really well. Good, 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 um, good condition record. Um, that's on A&M. Hope you can see it all okay. I do have um, Suzanne Vega doing her own um, version of the song as well, Tom's Diner. Classic song by her, isn't it? That's a brilliant, brilliant version. DNA. Yep. Featuring Suzanne Vega. There is some writing on the sleeve there, some pen and ink. I could get a razor and um, clear that off, I suppose. But... Um, there you go. Bit of a weird one this is. Laurie Anderson, Oh Superman. This is this one. I have I played it. Again, fantastic condition, plays really, really well. Um there's the label. I think it's custom sort of Warner Brothers type one. This one you could I played it 45 RPM as, as you, you should do. And I played it 33, 33 and a third. <laughs> and it still it still sounds okay, I suppose. A bit weird and wacky. Let's put that in the right way. So yeah, and um this also came with an inner sleeve, the seven inch single. B side of the actual B side of this is a song called Walk the Dog. There it is there. Again, I hope you can see it all okay. And it comes with a little um paper in a sleeve as well. The old uh, Dachshunds on it. Sausage dogs as we call them. So yeah, different quirky tune. I think it made um did it make top five here in Britain? I'm sure it did, at least top five. It might have even made, um, I'm not sure, it might have made number one or number two in the British charts back in the day. Very different, very quirky. So yeah, O oh Superman, Laurie Anderson. And uh, finally, I've got some uh, BCLT. Let me just fetch something out of the box here. Let me just find it quickly. There we go. Yes, some lovely BCLT. It's not this. 
I picked this up a few weeks ago. I still haven't had the chance to play it yet. Slade in Flame. Always, always on the lookout um, for, for anything Slade that I haven't got in the collection. Not seen the uh, Slade in Flame film for oh donkey's years. Donkey's years. And then this arrived in the house the other day. Eric Mike. Bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Slade in Flame. The DVD. Even got a little, little book clip with it as well. Brilliant. Um, the only trouble is... The TV's all rigged up to, to this, that and the other downstairs. And I haven't... And I'll be totally honest, I haven't got the fucking clue how to turn it on and get the DVD player working. My daughter does all that malarkey, so she's going to have to show me. So, um, yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Hopefully I'll be watching it tonight when I have my dinner. So, yeah, BCLT from um, Berkshire Mike. God bless you, sir. Bless you, Governor. Slade in Flame. Really, really looking forward to watching that again. Like I say, I've not, I've not watched it for donkey's years. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Again, cheers sir, thank you very much. Um, I don't know what I'll do to deserve all this VCLT. And while we're talking about Slade, I've got the old um, CD on the go. There we go, look. One of these freebies that came with the papers years ago. Absolutely fantastic live stuff, brilliant. I was just playing um, Will Bring the House Down, one of my favourite tunes by him. Great, great rocking, rocking CD this is. Well worth hunting out. Anyway, let's turn this down before it's getting any, any uh, trouble over the old copyright infringements. Um, yeah, reading glass, these aren't bloody cheap now, these are Lambretta ones. So, uh, did that make me look educated? <laughs> Cheerio, bless you, thank you very much